Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making these gorgeous flower resin coasters. This technique is so easy. I hope you guys give it a try. If you're struggling to make flowers in your resin coasters, this will 100% work for you. Here's the pigments I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using all of these from Island Micas and more. I'll link them down below. And I'm adding this Arteza green to this dry Tortugas. And I'm going to be using Mystic Rain glitter from Laura's Art Corner in the center of of my coasters. I'm going to be using the Gen Crafts Epoxy Resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin and I'm loving it for coasters because it's really clear and it doesn't have micro bubbles, which is nice. Um, it's really easy to use. It doesn't have a super strong smell. I'll link everything down below along with my coupon codes and I'm just filling up my molds here about three quarters of the way full. These molds are really big so it did take about eight ounces for these coasters. And I'm just going in with a little silicone tool around the rim of my silicone molds. Um, if you do have bubbles, they really like to cling to the edge. So you can go in with a little silicone tool, just go around the edge and scoop those bubbles right out. And for this technique, all you have to do is just make some circles. Make sure you start at the edge of your coaster mold. I'm going in with the custom green that I mixed up with the Arteza green and the dark blue. Went in with some gold, going in with the blue and then adding a circle of white. And that's it. Super simple and easy. Here we are one hour later and I'm gonna draw my lines for my petals. And this is the silicone tool I was using to get those bubbles out of the molds. When I do this, I think about the face of a clock. So I do 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, and then split the difference in between those petals. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Make sure you wait about one hour before you go in and draw these lines. I'm going to cover them up, let them dry for 24 hours, and then we'll be ready to demold them. And I didn't add any heat or isopropyl alcohol to pop bubbles. I didn't need to because I didn't have a ton of bubbles with, with this resin. Um, so it works really well for projects like this where you're using quite a bit of clear in your coasters um, because with the thicker resins you can get those micro bubbles and they really show up if your project has a lot of clear in it. And I mixed up my resin and my pigments off camera but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin and your pigments I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box and I'll pin it in the comments. So just scroll down to the comment section and you can click that video and check it out if you're new to resin and you want to see how I mix my resin and my pigments. So here's how they turned out. They turned out perfect. I love the shape that I got with these flowers. Uh, when you go in and do your lines, don't mess with them too much. Just commit to drawing the line and don't go back in over it a few times because that will mess with the shape of your petals. So just go for it, take a deep breath and draw those lines and don't go back in and go over it a bunch. Just do it one time when you draw your flower petal lines and you'll get a really pretty nice flower design. I was trying to go for peacock inspired colors when I made these. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you give this technique a try. It's so easy and I promise you that they'll turn out pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot. I'll leave a few of my favorites right here. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have so you can get a little bit of savings if you want to try any of these products out for yourself. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys.